Peter Pan. Hello, uh, we can skip people. the introduction. It's it's but I more. Do it. Oh, go for it. Go. For it. Hello. Just remember to curtsy while you do it. It saves time. Hello, ladies and gentlemen of the hypothetical audience. I'm Josh. I'm Jajinway's ghost this and time. And you'll not take me on the hands to me! Why am I me, Captain? Because you didn't declare yourself as Captain Hook first. I suppose. If you did it, I would have happily been uh, the thing, I couldn't, I can't do a Shmi impression, though. Cause yeah. It's... If, I guess you get a tuck like You gotta sound like Trippy. It's the same voice actor. Yeah. Because he found out he did the rabbit. This is clearly the same voice yeah, as the yeah. rabbit. But anyway, so... Peter Pan. 1953's Peter Pan. Um, So let's go ahead and get it out of the way. Let's Holy. get rid of the elephant in the room. This movie... Which fitting that we're talking about elephants in the room, because this has been the most racist movie since Dumbo. <laughs> oh, it was way more racist than Dumbo, I think. Because it's like, okay, like, Dumbo had, like, some unfortunate lines during that song. Yeah. This not only has an entire unfortunate song, it just has an unfortunate way of depicting Indian, of Native, Native Americans. Americans. <laughs> Sorry, I apologize. But it's like, holy shit. Yeah, this, well, they would never get away with this today. No question. Tiger Lily, maybe. Tiger Lily's true. Um, she might be a bit more respectful, but... But, but like, oh. oh. Ooh. They, like, smoke. They, they are referred to as Redskins at one point. Why they they the drop engine man, quite dude. a few times. Uh, they, they just... It is un, it's a little uncomfortable. They go... Oh, no. they, do, they do that a lot. But it's like, oh my god. Goodness, there is just an entire part of the movie where it's like you even said it's like, oh, I just felt so uncomfortable, and I did too. I was like, I can't wait for it to be over, because other than that, this is a great movie. Now, this is not like an amazing movie, mm -hmm. but it, it it there's a lot of charm behind it. It's like you know the story of Peter Pan. You know Wendy and her two well, brothers. They, you know, like they. Uh, they don't want to grow have, up. Yeah, they have, I mean, because they're kids. They don't want to grow like, up. Michael's a little bitty baby. I don't know how old Wendy and John are. I assume Wendy's she's the like, oldest. She's, she looks like she's somewhere between maybe 12 and 14. And at the oldest. So John's maybe like 10, 11, eight, and ten. Michael's like 3, 4. And it's like... You know, Wendy doesn't want to grow up, and Peter Pan shows up, and is, and you know, like Wendy stitches his shadow back to him, and he's like, "Hey, let's go to Neverland, where you never have to grow up. Yeah, you know, you just need to think some happy thoughts, sprinkle some pixie dust, and we'll get to her in a bit, <laughs> and you can fly. Yeah. And so, you know, we can fly, we can fly. He can talk because <laughs> I can't. It just that's how it's my automatic. brain goes. It's automatic. But I do love that song. I mean, most of those kind of um chorus more kind of songs that's not just like sung by characters in the background tend to be kind of more forgettable for me not to say that they're bad but this one has always stuck with me i feel like this is probably my favorite song in the movie mm -hmm. uh so they go off to neverland and it's filled with uh pirates and engines and uh, mermaids it does have mermaids, and I do like mermaids. I know you, only they trying don't... to drown her a little bit. Yeah, that's like ah, not a little bit. They're like we were only trying to drown her. Yeah. Peter Pan's like, yeah, that's fine. It's it's like, like, yeah, maybe that's how you say hello. Oh, never land. That's Come a, on, that's just mermaids' way of saying hello. It's it just is. drowning you. Yeah. Um, Little so, Mermaid would have been a real different movie if it took place in Neverland. <laughs> but then you got uh, you got the pirates. Led by the indubitable Captain Hook, who is... The best part of this movie, no question, easily the best Disney villain so far. Lady Tremaine is great because of just how much you despise her. I but she's not entertaining. I adore the Queen of Hearts for just how funny she is. Like, she might be the funniest thing in Alice the evil saying a queen lot. is effective. I suppose. Yeah, I mean, I like the queen. Too. Thirsty, have a drink. <laughs> I'll never forget that line. Well, because it's like she's in the prison. She's in like her dungeon, and there's just the skeleton of a man. In oh, that, that's right. That's for, right. Like, the pail of water. She's like, thirsty, have a drink. Yeah. Like that's like the funniest line in that movie. 
Um, but getting back to Peter. Oh gosh, yeah. Hook is just it's just watching Looney Tunes. <laughs> watching there's so Eddie much this, great slapstick. With slapstick Buck. like the I love the sound design whenever he gets hit with something. Like it sounds dun. like it hurts. And then you've got the dun dun dun. dun and then how he and Smee's movements dun. get super jittery in tune with it. I love it. And at one point, have... the crocodile just looks at the camera. <laughs> And it just goes right back to war. And this fucking crocodile is just always looming in the background, just going like, oh, I know it's going to happen. I'm just waiting for it. Mm -hmm. I'm anticipating. I'm, like, getting my napkin. I'm getting my fork and knife. I'm ready to feast on some hook. And on that codfish. <laughs> on that old codfish. And, yeah, like, Hook... One thing I like about Hook is that he is kind of a comic relief villain... But he is still threatening because, yeah, like, he planted, like, this is different from the original book because in the original book he planted poison mm -hmm. and Tinkerbell drank the poison and then, you know, like, a, I, I do believe in fairies, I do believe in fairies, you know, all that stuff. And here it's like, no, he just planted a bomb and, and then Tinkerbell just has to, like, you know, like, push it away, you know, uh, which... Okay, so my biggest problem with the movie, let's go ahead and lay it out, is that scene where it's like, okay, so they're, you know, Pan's finding Tank in, in the wreckage, and it looks like she's dying, and he's like, come on, Tank, you know, like, you're the most important person to me. Then it cuts to them, Yeah. then, then just it just fine. cuts to them, uh, like, sending Wendy to the plank, and then Peter and Tink are just there. And it's like, there's no explanation, because it's yeah. like, that's like, that is like a pivotal scene in the play and the book and all that stuff is, you know, like, I do believe in fairies. I do, I do. Now, I do remember I in the live action version, the, the one I'm familiar with, the one with Jason Isaacs, or no, Jonathan Isaacs. Was that? Jason, Jason Isaacs. It was Jason, my mistake. So, Jason Isaacs as Hook and the Dead, there's a scene where, like, all, all these people in reality and then London are saying, I do believe in fairies, and he says it in the middle of work. <laughs> it just makes me howl every time. Yeah, that scene, uh, that movie's actually pretty good. It's I remember cool. I loved it. Yeah. But it's like, I understand why they kind of didn't want to include the whole I do believe in fairies thing in this movie, but it's like, at the very least, it feels like we cut a scene out. Like, mm. we cut, like, a minute out of the movie, and I'm like... It, it, I don't remember this, actually. Like, did, did we miss something? But, uh, and considering how big of a moment it is in the story, it feels really weird cutting it out. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's the big my biggest problem, because it really fucks with the pacing. Um, and the tension. Um, but Shmi is, you know, he, he's, he's hilarious, he's threatening, and he's just entertaining. He's the best part of the movie. I would say the other best part of the movie is the Pan himself. Because Peter Pan is a really fun character. He is. Because, you know, Just he's... the whole scene in...